If Carmen Palafox thinks that you have a great idea, she will give you the opportunity to develop it into a great business. That's because Carmen is a partner in Make in LA, one of the most reputable startups business accelerator in Los Angeles. Our accelerator is focused on building a highly scalable hardware tech company. Scalable meaning that they can grow quickly and they can become that next billion dollar company. Making LA will provide you with a top-notch workspace complete with all the tools necessary to help design, develop, prototype, and manufacture your product. Let's ask Carmen, ¿cómo lo hizo? Éxito. Success. Hábitos. Habits. ¿Cómo lo hizo? How do they make it? Descubra las costumbres y secretos de los triunfadores. Discover the habits and the secrets of those who have succeeded. A startup accelerator is very literal. What we do is accelerate time. When you think about what the most important resources are for a startup, it's time and money. We save them time. What they'd be able to accomplish in one year, we accomplish in four months. Okay, so, but you are now involved with Make in LA. That's the name of the accelerator. Correct. Correct. Yes. So tell me about it, how everything started. Yeah, so... Um, just to clarify what we do in particular, we focus on hardware tech. And that includes any type of physical technology, the Internet of Things, wearables, robotics. So a few examples in L.A. are a Ring Doorbell. That's one example of a type of company that that um, we consider hardware. Fitbit is another example of hardware. SpaceX is another example of hardware. So what's the process? So let's say I have an idea, yes. hardware idea, some material thing. What do I do with it? I look for you. How, how does it work? We have an application cycle. Uh, we will hold a class once or twice a year and we'll accept um, around five companies into the four-month program. How many applications do you get at this point? At this point in our last cycle, we got 200 applications from 60 different countries. So the ratio of uh, acceptance is what, 1%, 2%? Uh, yeah, it's very extremely, extremely competitive. So what's the criteria? How do you accept uh, people or projects and how come you decline others? Walk us through, please. Uh, we are looking for highly scalable opportunities. So these are... Um, companies that can scale and potentially become billion dollar companies. So what's the process? Again, they present, they submit a, a what a project, an idea. Tell me more they, about it. It's like applying for university. You fill out an application, you um, have a pitch deck, uh, we ask for a video so that we can see who you are. And that's the initial phase of applying to the program. All of the companies that apply have a prototype. Of a, it could be a very raw, ugly prototype, but it's a prototype of how they envision the final product. What role plays the actual founder? Do you put attention to who is behind the concept, the kind of uh, individual Character. Absolutely. Oh, so, yes. Tell yeah. me more about yeah. it. We, um, if you look at our, our website, it's mila.vc, we specifically focus and identify the qualities that we're looking for in an entrepreneur. 
uh, the one of the most important ones is curiosity. So, and uh, this this relates to their ability to ask questions. So, we're going to surround an entrepreneur with mentors, with people that have done this before. And those people, and through our program, they're going to get asked a lot of questions and they're going to get a lot of advice. So an entrepreneur has to be open to receiving that advice, processing it, and then making it applicable to their company. So coachability is very important for us. So it should be a balance between curiosity and uh, flexibility or openness. Correct. You know. Yeah. So yeah. and you actually, what's more important for you? Or there is there are cases when you see a wonderful prototype, but the founder or the person behind it is kind of stubborn or kind of not the the individual that you foresee behind a project? What do you do? What's, what's the priority there? So what, we, what we do now is we have a pre-accelerator. So the official program is four months long. We have a month-long pre-accelerator where we work with the entrepreneur for a month and we get it. We give them a taste of what it's like to be in the program and they get a taste of what it's like to work with us. It's kind of like dating, you know, if it doesn't go well in that first month, then they probably, it doesn't make sense for us to move forward. Okay. So let's say that my prototype qualified and you guys are very happy with me. Now I'm going to go to the four month, uh, four month uh, process, process, correct? correct. Of training. Yeah. So how is it going to be? Are, are you going to have to move? Are you going to help me with my room and board how is it <laughs> we so our business model is a venture capital fund we invest in the companies that we accept into the program uh, the first the initial check right now is seventy five thousand dollars and that seventy five thousand dollars is meant for the entrepreneur to be able to focus one hundred percent on building their business. Uh, the four month program is a residency program, so yes, we do ask the entrepreneurs to move to Los Angeles for those four months to take advantage of all of the resources we have. So you invest seventy thousand. $75,000 in each prototype or project. In each so company. In each they, company they, that they, brings the project. So yeah. that means that I need to be a company or yes, can I be no. an individual? I have to be you a corporation have, in a way. Yes, we're looking for companies that once they finish our program, they um, are looking for investment from other investors to get to the next level. Okay, and the $75,000 check, when do you give that to the entrepreneur or the company? We give it uh, during the program. So yeah. dur during the program, yes. so like yes. $15,000 a month, something like no, that? No, no, no. It, it, if all of the paperwork is in order, for, if the company has established the corporation, then we can make the investment on day one. Interesting. So full, 100% of the investment? Correct. Yes. Interesting. Yep. Okay. So now after the four months, what happens? Uh, so again, we accelerate time, right? So it depends on where the company is when they come into the program. So if they're apply to the program, they already have a prototype, they're just having problems with a certain aspect of um, manufacturing, we can help them work through that manufacture, manufacturing problem and get to market. So it really depends on what stage the company is in. But our focus is on um, helping them get through that manufacturing cycle and get to. So do you have a demo day, like a presentation day for investors? Like We bring investors 
to our facility throughout the four months. So our companies are constantly talking to investors. They're talking to other entrepreneurs that have been through the process of getting product to market. So what's the role of venture capital here? Venture capital is um, our business model. So our hope is that when we're investing in these companies, that they're going to be the next billion dollar company. The unicorn. The unicorn. That's right. Yes. All right. So the $75,000, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to ask you these questions because an accelerator is kind of an unknown for most of the people. So just that's my reason why. Yes. Okay. So you invest $75,000 and do you ask for equity yes. in that company? Yes, we, we ask for equity in the company in exchange for the investment. Any percentage that we can know? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's about 7.5% equity. Okay. 7.5 so to 9. Okay, so the... The company with the prototype has to know that they're going to give away, let's say, 7%, 7.5% yes. of their equity to the accelerator in exchange for... To the venture fund. To the venture fund Correct. of the accelerator yeah. in exchange for that preparation, getting ready for right. the next step. Yes. So, okay. So, so I our venture fund, our, our venture fund, our thesis is that um, hardware companies can be capital efficient if you give them the right resources. Our job is to help companies avoid common mistakes that other startups have made and get them to market fast in a capital efficient manner. So you not only give the $75,000 investment, mm -hmm. first investment in exchange for uh, let's say 7.5 yep. equity in the corporation. Mm -hmm. But after that, you also have access to venture capitalists. Capital, then you can take that company to the next level, scale it. We are, yes, we make introductions to other investors, venture capitalists, um, for, for each company. We work with them on um, their fundraising plan and help them understand how much capital they're going to need to raise in their next round of financing. How many venture capitalists you have in your network? Uh, it's quite extensive. I mean, our network goes across the United States and globally. So globally means you have people coming to your accelerator from different countries? Yes. Any specific case that you can remember? Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of investors that are doing cross-border investing. So they're looking for companies that potentially could expand into other countries, um, China, um, the Middle East. So your accelerator is more focused in developing or in an exit strategy? Our accelerator is focused on building a highly scalable um, hardware tech company. Scalable meaning that they can grow um, quickly and they can become that next billion dollar company. So you are not planning your business model is not an exit strategy or you are Well, it's a venture capital fund. So all venture capital funds um, have a, a life cycle. So um, typically that's a 10 year life cycle. Now, what would be your best advice for an entrepreneur, somebody mm -hmm. that has an idea, a concept, a rough prototype? But what would be your best advice for them? What, what should be inside that mind or that heart that makes it successful? My best advice is always know who your customer is. So a lot of 
um, in my experience, entrepreneurs will make assumptions about who their customer is, but they won't necessarily go out and speak to customers about 